What is up? What is up? All you crazy YouTube fishermen of the world out there. So, little rundown real quick because it's been a while since I posted. I didn't do an unboxing video for last month's Super Six Sack. And it's partially my fault, partially my buddy's fault, which I will get to here in a second. My buddy had made a comment about wanting to start editing my videos. And I said, sure. So, I made the video for the August 2020 uh, Super Six Sack. Sent it to him. And he had some stuff go down with his life, personal stuff. And it never he never got around to doing it. So this one is not going to be sent to him. Not that I don't want him to edit it, but the fact that I want to actually get it put on there. And I will probably actually start looking into editing my own stuff once I get another computer and other stuff. But, for right now, after I finish this, because I've still got some talking to do. And I'm sorry if you want to hear, if you don't want to hear me ramble, but had a lot of stuff go down. Like, I was on vacation last week, but, and I went home for vacation because I had jury duty last week. And that's actually when this came in. It came in up here instead of down there. So that's why this video isn't up and out already, because I'm just now getting around to it. And it came in like six or seven days ago. In boat news, the trailer is now legal. The boat is in the process of getting legal. I'm waiting on them to send stuff back and tell me, hey, you didn't send enough money, or hey, you know, here's your stuff. So I'm not sure how that's gonna go. I'm waiting on them to find that, that out. Boat trailer is legal though. Still don't have a motor. Supposed to be in touch with a guy, that ain't worked out. And so yeah, I'm still kinda SOL on that deal. And then on my John boat, I almost got the motor running at the house, but I'm going to have to pull the carburetor back off and do some tweaking on it to see what the hell is going on. But, that's enough of me rambling. Let's break into this one, Super Six Sack. And yes, I opened it before I started the video. However, I just broke it open. I have not looked at anything. I don't even know what color the bag is because I'm not wearing actual clothes. I'm wearing pajamas. And I use my keys right here to cut it open. That's the only reason I did that. So, without further ado, let's see what color this smut sack is. Is that black? And it's upside down. That's nice. Or, I had the box upside down. Black sack with a white Super 6 logo. What's in... And this time they sent me a card, $10 off my next purchase, and free dry bone bag with next purchase of $75 or over. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna tell you right now, this thing's, this thing's kind of packed. Not as packed as it could be, like that first sack I got, but it's still pretty packed. It's fairly fat. So let's see what we got off in here this time. I'm just gonna start grabbing what's in there. What is this? <laughs> this is a Quake 70, 5 8 ounce in orange sunfish. I think this is the one Justin Roll got. And of course, y'all already know I'm break it open and show y'all. And plus, I'm going to have to put it in a bag and stuff. And here comes my cousin in his Camaro. But yeah, it's a orange sunfish. Got the orange belly, the orangish yellowish top with the black tiger stripes, and black on top. Just to show y'all that piece of shit Camaro that he adores so much. It's actually pretty bad. I like it, but it's not as fast as it needs to be. Yes, I was talking about your car. What the hell are you going to do about it? <laughs> he don't care. <laughs> it does look nice, so I like the uh, rims and stuff he's got on it. 
What's next? Swim baits. 3.2 inch divine swim baits in the electric shiner. And of course, I don't have my freaking knife on me, so let's see if I can open these with the key. And we could, I think I've actually got, I don't know if I've got some of these in the electric shiners or not, but they're actually pretty cool. It's like a, a green pumpkin pattern on top. Where am I at? You can't even see on the camera. And then a whole like pearl with some silver, silver flake in it. I think that's it. It's just pearl with silver flakes. I needed more swim baits because I don't have a very big selection of swim baits and I mainly use the swim baits for trailers. Ow. And what is this? Crush flat 75X in thread fin shad. Ooh. I don't think I own one of these any any form of the 75X. I'm not for sure. Thread fin shad. White belly. Gold stripe down the middle of it with some blue and then a green pumpkinish top with a bronze nose my phone camera. Uh, there it goes a little bit. And this will dive, how far? Two to five foot. Like I said, I do not think I own a 75 or a flat 75X. I'm honestly not sure. I know for too long, I'm going to have to get me a tackle wall or something. What is, this is a jig. Half ounce black and blue hybrid jig. Which I actually love. I like the hybrid jigs. And does this have the... No, no screw lock on it. But I like them. A nice, sturdy weed guard. Not too hard. It's easy down here. It's stiffer at the top, but it's easy to get it down there once you get right there. I like these. I'll... I only use the swim jigs and the hybrid jigs. I mean, I do have the swim jigs, but you can swim a hybrid jig too. But and that's why I use the hybrid jigs. Because you can swim them, you can flip them, you can pitch them, you can do their... That's why they call them hybrid jigs, because you can do anything you want to with them. Any type of jig fishing you want to do, you can do with the hybrid jig. Crush 100X in the Gillikin. Ooh. Well, oh. hey, cool. It dives two to five foot. I didn't realize it was a square bill. And this is actually the, it's a 100X, but it's a S because it's a silent model. I do not own anything in this Gillikin color because I like some of the stuff and some of the stuff I don't like. The Vega Frog, the Gilkin color on it, I wasn't, it was too yellowy for me. But, but this I actually like. It's a weird, like, light green pumpkin bottom with ye yellow and green sides and the stripes down it. And then a dark green pumpkin up top. With the little blue and the fins right there. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of the Gillikin color in some of the stuff. But this I thoroughly, I like it a lot. I don't think I have, I might have something that big. I'm just honestly not sure.
All right, so we're down to two more baits. One of them, I'm pretty sure, is the Divine Shaky Worm, and I got one more hard bait, so. Not sure what it is, but we fixing to find, hey, it's a Movement 80 Lake in Blue Truce Shed, or, ooh, that's freaking pretty. I can't remember if I've opened one of these uh, Movement 80X wakes on uh, the channel or not. I do have two or three of them though. They're pretty cool because they're basically like a top water uh, crankbait. Because all you gotta do is freaking reel it and it, the, it has a motion for you. And it kicks and it makes a big splash in the water. They're actually pretty cool, and I really dig this color. It's the whole white on bottom with the little orange, red gill plate, chartreuse middle, and then uh, I'm gonna call that like an aqua blue top. Ah, I, I, I really like that color. They say it dives one to three foot, but normally. Normally, if you reel it, depending on the uh, gear ratio reel you have, if you got a high speed uh, ratio reel, it's, it, you'll just run it across the top, but it'll, it still has the kicking motion to it. Like I said, I, th I thoroughly enjoy the ones that I have already. And now this is... I was right, 7 inch Divine Shaking Worm in Oxblood. Now that's the color that I do not have. I don't think, unless it came in a sack before, I'm not really sure. It's a straight purple, bluish purple-ish looking color on top. And in the bottom it's a uh, I'm gonna call that like a murky brown, almost like murky water with some uh, red flake in it right there. And that will wrap up this month's Super Six Sack. Like I said, if y'all want to see the October, or not October, I'm sorry, August super six sack unboxing let me know and i will post it because like i said I, I still have the original copy of the video and then like i said my buddy's got one that he was supposed to do a uh supposed to edit it for me but he never got around to it so it just never got posted but like i said if y'all want to see it let me know and i will definitely get that posted to the channel for y'all and without further ado i'm gonna get out of here because I got shit to do. <laughs> Y'all take it easy and I'll see y'all on the next one.